Hello, in this video I will show you how to use SPSS in order to calculate probabilities for a variable that follows a normal distribution. So, here in this box I have highlighted a few questions that we usually have to answer whenever we have a random variable. So, let's suppose that we have a random variable that follows the normal distribution with the standard, uh, with a with a specific arithmetic mean and standard deviation. For the specific example, we have a mean of 120 and standard deviation of 15. And we want to calculate first the probability that the normal, uh, the variable is getting a value less than 80. I have here the number just to demonstrate how we can calculate that using SPSS. The second question is to find the probability that the variable will get a value greater than 90. And the third question is to calculate the probability that our variable will get a value between 80 and 90. I have also done here some mathematics to demonstrate the formulas that we're going to use into our SPSS. So let's begin with the first question. Calculate the probability that the variable will get a value less than 80. We go to <clears throat> SPSS environment and the data editor and first we need to define a variable in the variable uh, view say P that demonstrates a probability it will be numeric with four decimal points and we will set it as a scale variable and we set it at zero just for the beginning. Next we transform compute variable and from this dialog we need to pick the appropriate cumulative distribution function. So first thing, define the target variable that we need to calculate because SPSS needs to know where to place the new value. So we set the target variable to P and this will replace the value of zero with a probability that we'll calculate. In this box, the numeric expression, we place the formula that we want to use in order to calculate the probability. So we go to the function group and we select the cumulative distribution functions and from the list that is displayed here, we scroll down and select the CDF normal because our distribution follows a normal, uh, our uh, variable follows the normal distribution. If we double click, you see that it goes to the numeric expression box and we have three values to replace here in those three questions, question marks. The first one is the quantity, the second the mean, and the third the standard deviation. So the quantity that we need to place for the first question is 80. So we replace the value with 80. The second value is the mean. In our case is 120. So we place the value 120 here. And the third is the standard deviation, which is 15. If we press the OK button, then the calculation, as you see, is complete and it is the value that I have already placed here, which I calculated using the statistical tables. Now, let's go to the second question. The second question asks for the probability that our variable will get the value greater than 90. This is equal to 1 minus the probability of x getting a value less than 90. And this is the formula that we will use in our computation to calculate the probability. So we go back again to the numeric expression and we add the uh, 1 minus the CDF normal and here we replace the 80 with 90. The rest are the same. We press OK, recalculate and as you can see 97.72% is a new probability which is in agreement with my calculation from the statistical tables. 
Now let's go to the third question where we want to, dis to uh, calculate the probability that our variable will be within 80 and 90. And again, the formula that we should use from the theory is the subtraction of this probability x less than 80. We subtract that from the probability that x is less than 90. Again, we transform, compute the variable, and here we use the CDF twice. The first one is as it is 90, the value, and we insert it again by placing here 80, 120, and 15. We check if we are OK, we press the OK button and recalculate to 1.89%. So those are some very common uh, questions that uh, some uh, someone can find when using uh, distributions. In a similar way, we can use all those uh, functions, embedded functions in SPSS, to calculate the probabilities for any one of those uh, distributions. Thank you very much.